When this inverted roller coaster opened in 1997, it shattered records. It's still a big contender, but I've sensed mixed feeling on this beast. Well, today I'm giving you my review of Elpengeist. Presentation Bush Gardens Williamsburg has done a great job with the theming on all of their roller coasters. Sure, it's not completely immersive, like Disney or Universal, but gets the job done. It's the little details that really make it stand out. Behind every seat is a pair of skis, which is pretty neat looking, and just pulls together the whole ski alps thing. Near the end of the ride, there is these trenches that look like snow, and they also serve as near-miss elements. I'm giving presentation a score of 9. Intensity. Alpengeist, like many inverted coasters, is quite intense. Every inversion is forceful. The way you are thrown around tells you this ride isn't messing around. Alpengeist has many near-miss moments, which only amp up the intensity. Intensity earns a good 9 rating. Fun Factor The first time I rode Alpengeist, I wasn't a fan. I thought it was rough, loud, and just straight up boring. Yes, its lift is still loud, but the rest so much better than I remember. Well, I don't know what happened between then and now, but Alpengeist is a fun ride. Sure, it has a couple spots of roughness, but the whole experience outweighs any negativity. The two inversions after the mid-course break run are my personal favorite moments. The way it flips you all over around, I feel Alpengeist deserves a score of 8 for the fun factor category. Originality Alpengeist has a custom layout, but with familiar elements, which we'd expect on most inverted coasters. But this ride does it well, really taking advantage of the mountainside which it's set on. There's really nothing else to say here, so I think a score of 7 sounds right. Smoothness. B&M coasters are known to be butter smooth, and for the most part, Alpengeist is a pretty smooth experience. The only notable section of roughness is during the first half of the Cobra Roll. It really whips you around, causing head banging. I'll give this coaster a score of 7 for smoothness. The final score comes to 8, which is a good score. After my last trip to Busch Gardens, Alpengeist made its way into my top 5 inverts. So what do you think of Alpengeist? Is it one of the best inverted coasters? Let me know in the comments. Please subscribe. Check out more of my content and follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter.